Hey, what's going on security.org fam? This is Gabe here at the ISC East Conference seeing what's going on with the future of home and business security, cybersecurity. All of this is happening in a number of exhibits uh, here in the Javits Center in Manhattan, New York City. Now, out of the many vendors and purveyors of security products and services that we were able to talk to this weekend, there are really four that I'd like to delve into uh, when it comes to better understanding the state of the market. Well, first, I have to talk about Ajax Professional Security. Now, Ajax is based in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, but they're actually the largest purveyor of home security systems in Europe. So professionally installed home security systems, Basically, you're going to think Ajax when it comes to the European market. They are really entrenched there. But what we're excited to hear that they're bringing their style, what they bring to the table to North America in 2022. Now, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to Ajax. But one thing I have to mention right off the bat as a former Apple employee is I really like the manner in which they bring that proprietary hardware and software to the game. So just like Apple, they have control over everything that's going into their products, but the ability to be flexible so that you and I can have it on our Apple and Android devices. So second, we have Cadis Smart Locks. Now Cadis is based out of Ontario, but they've definitely done more in the Chinese Australian markets. Now they are massive and they bring a lot to the table in terms of providing residential and commercial areas or rather commercial residential areas with smart locks. What's great is that they offer what you've come to expect from the top of the line smart locks at various price points. But they also have things like fingerprint readers built directly into handles. So really impressed with the nifty things we saw coming out of Cadiz Smart Locks and excited to see how well they're able to break into the American market. Now third, I love to talk about Spico Technologies. Now Spico is actually based here in New York in Amityville, uh, so not too far away from where we happen to be right now. But what's really interesting about Spico Technologies is that they are a family-run business and have been so for practically 60 years. They are bringing AI and analytics that I think really changed the game in the home security, residential security, commercial security space. Uh, for example, they have something called Intensifier um, when it comes to LEDs, and this allows for them to basically take any light that happens to be in a dark space and amplify that to give you a better look at what's going on. So anything from moonlight to individual light, light bulb in one space is amplified, giving you just a real next level night vision look at what's happening to you in space, which ultimately can help make you safer. Finally, I was really impressed by Genetech. Now Genetech, does bring what we've come to expect from security companies to the table. They have amazing proprietary software um, when it comes to AI and analytics in terms of being able to identify problems. They have the hardware necessary. They have the open architecture allowing for them to partner with other third-party providers of cameras, of access controls. All of these elements are seen within the Genetech ecosystem. But what's really impressive about Genetech is their ability to help small businesses, enterprises, college campuses really synthesize a coherent approach to security. They kind of refer to it as operationalizing security. So you can imagine you have maybe a library, a building, a field, and you have various CCTV cameras and things of that nature. You need to get an idea of where's the one spot I can go to to focus my energies when it comes to security. So that ability of Genetech to operationalize security concerns in terms of creating a coherent and singular space in which one can identify, monitor, and react to events is fascinating, useful, and honestly, marvelous. So ultimately, Genetech is not only giving you the tools you need to detect and monitor what's going on in your various locations, but it's also looking to help you take the next step in being organized and controlling your entire security apparatus. All right, so that's our brief overview of the ISC East Conference 2021 here in New York. We had a great time talking to 
lots of different companies, but I specifically would like to shout out those who spoke with me at length, including Valentine from Ajax Professional Security, Leo Shu from Cadis Smart Locks, JF from Genetech, and Scott from Speco Technologies. Really appreciate it, guys. Loved our conversations, truly, and I'm looking forward to continuing them. That's it for us here at security.org. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in what we're bringing to the table when it comes to home and digital security. My name is Gabe, this is security.org, be secure.